Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 8 and the final part of this SS Andrea Doria tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's lifeboats, handrails, staircases, swimming pools and anything else that I haven't done previously. Uh, so what we're going to do is work on the smaller details first. And we'll start with the ship's, uh, on top of the ship's wheelhouse. So we'll go to the f top of the sh top of the wheelhouse. Uh, go to the, roughly the third block back on the wood. So one, two, three, and then we cut a hole, which is five wide. So put it five wide like that, and then fill it in like so, and then uh, two back, two back like so, fill in with white again, and then fill it in cut a hole and fill it in with uh, white like so so it's five wide three wide uh, five wide and three thick and then uh, the two blocks there like so and then what we do we get our handrails I don't know the purpose of this but it's on there nonetheless then we just add handrails around the edge like so and then we'll get a wood fence and just add a thingy what's it in the middle like so I think it could be an antenna or something or a compass but uh, you just add a little antenna on the top like so there we are nicely done All right so now that's that little job done so what we're going to do now is go to the uh, roughly well, is this, this section here of the ship's wheelhouse so you've got this corner section here we're going to add a set of stairs there so we're going to remove a block here so you've got the front you can see the front wall of the uh, ship's wheelhouse there got the side and then it curves in again so remove that white block and replace with stairs going down like so without causing any damage in the process and then replace with banisters like so blocks underneath and there we go that's that section there and then go down again to the uh, bridge wings down here and then we're going to do the same again so remove two white blocks and then we'll put stairs in again so stairs and it's a bit more difficult this time because you've got to add white blocks underneath so stairs white block stairs white block stairs white block and then stairs so there we go from the bridge wings you add the stairs and then the banisters two up two up two up and the other side you do the same two up two up and up one whatever and there we go there's the bridge wing stairs added there so stairs to the wheel to the top of the wheelhouse and stairs from the bridge wings down so you do the same thing on the other side I'll use copy paste just to save time so we just go and add the stairs and that to the other side and then we'll do the usual copy flip and paste and there we go there's the stairs added on both sides so that's the uh, staircase is done there that's fine uh, so what we're going to do now is go back to the top of the ship's wheelhouse and back to the to the behind the mast the main mast there and from the back of the mast we're going to count back seven so one two three four five six seven and put a black center block and then we'll go 11 out to the side so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and on there we add a white block and then turn that into a cross like so and build that four high so 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 and the center as well and in the center we add single black block on the top you can see them on the prototype over there I think that's just sort of uh, I don't know what they are actually they're just there that's that side do the same on the other side so 11 out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and build across and then increase it to 4 high 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 and a black block on the top like so and that's those two little antennary what's it things there so that's that so bear with me while I just read my notes and what we're going to do now is go to the back of the ship or to the back of the uh, promenade deck so I'll work on the uh, right hand side for this one because this is how I measured it so you've got the promenade deck down here so this is the promenade down here which is the uh, one with the fancy windows and the overhang we go to the back of the promenade and you've got this wall in here which is it should be about nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine so it's nine blocks if you go from the back end it should go four five nine so you've got this nine section here and on the uh what is it it's the fourth block back so this nine section here fourth block back so one two three four 
We build stairs. We build stairs going up. So this has got to drill a hole through the deck. So, and it will come out just up here. It's on top of the uh, on the boat deck. So build the stairs. One, two, three, four. Make four there, and then we cut a hole and put the fifth one up there like so. And then we return to above. And then we're going to add a white base around the side. So build the base roughly one, two, three, four, five long like so. And then one across, or two across, and then the same the other side. And I'm not really explaining it very well. But uh, replace the damage that I've done. And then from the top it should look something like that. So you've got the stairs, and then you've got a sort of horseshoe around it. And from below it will look something like that. And then from the stairs at the bottom, just add the banisters like before. You just go up, two up, two up, two up. And then one there. And then, of course, blocks underneath the stairs for support. And in theory, it should look something like that. So you've got, you've got the stairs going from this deck up to the one above. And it don't look too bad. Get our handrails, which are iron bars. And then build around the edge, like so. There we go, there's that set of stairs there. I'll do the same the other side just so we can sort of understand what I'm not trying to explain. So we've got the wall of four, five, and then nine. And that's on the fourth block. One, two, three, four. We build our stairs up. Stairs, stairs, stairs. Cut a few holes and stairs. Like so. And then it's what is it? It's five either side on it. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then one across there. And then the handrails around the edge. Like so. And then on the inside again, we just add the banisters. Uh, two up, two up, two up, two up. And then the blocks underneath for support. And there we go. That's the other set of stairs. So they're sort of indented, indented into the deck. And it don't look too bad. And that's those stairs. So what we're going to do now is add the horseshoe. Not the horseshoes themselves, but the um, the poles. And there should be three poles. If I just look at the prototype a, section, a second. So from the top uh, horseshoe, got a pole, and then another pole down there, and another pole. So there's three poles we're going to add. The top two are the same design. So we just fly back over. Um, ignore the white around the edge of that one. That was just something I added. All right, so we'll go back over to the uh, the top horseshoe, and yes, once again, I've not added any windows to this section, but it's not a big deal. Just uh, I just get the windows back again. So we use black glass, and we we'll just add a few windows here because there's something I, I keep forgetting to do. I know I'm supposed to do it, but I keep forgetting. Just add the windows in there, and then a few along the side. Same on the other side. There we go, got this windows there. Right, now for the pool. Uh, the pool, we're going to go from the back wall here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six back, and then centre block. And then the pools themselves are seven wide, so that's uh, three either side, one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way. And the sides are 11, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then across the back. And then on the inside, depending how deep we want the pool, but I'm just going to build it one block deep because it's not really going to be in use, is it? It's just a cosmetic thing. We just remove the wood blocks in the in the in the uh, base and replace the ones that I've removed by accident. And then in this space, we'll just add white blocks, so it gives the illusion that it's a pool and nothing more. There you go. You can fill it up with water if you want to. It's entirely up to you. And if you want to, you can line the edges with slabs. I think that may be an idea. We just use quartz slabs around the edge just to give the pool a bit more depth. It is entirely up to you. There you go. There's the pool added there. So we did the same thing on the deck below, down to the next horseshoe. It's the same design again. So from the back wall here, we'll leave a five block gap. So one, two, three, four, five. 
and on the sixth block we'll do the same again so it's seven wide one two three that way one two three that way and then eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and across the back and then just fill in the base with white I should use wild edit for this one to save time so I use uh, set uh, quartz like so and there we go that's all filled in and then for the top of the pool you can use slabs again it's entirely up to you and there we go there's the second pool done and then for the third pool slightly smaller but uh, on the next deck down and it goes from the back wall of this section here so the first two were in the horseshoes this last one goes in on the uh, sort of the outside of this pool of this wall here so we we'll go from the wall itself and it's the fourth block forward I think so on the wood one two three four and the pool itself it's seven wide, so center block again, and we go one, two, three that way, and one, two, three that way. But the sides are nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then across the front. And then once again, fill in the bottom with white blocks, like so. And then just build around the edge for the quartz stair, uh, slabs. and there we go that's the pool added there and that is three pools so bear with me now while I look at the next job so uh, just bear with me uh, right so the next job we're gonna do is down on the stern which is um, pillars so we've got this section in here we're gonna add some pillars so from the black to the white we're gonna add pillars right so every fifth block, I think, we'll add a pillar. So we'll go from the, the where the, uh, the gap appears. So we'll add a fir our first pillar, which is three blocks high. And then every fifth pillar, one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, we'll add a pillar. One, two, three, four. Fifth block, add a pillar. One, two, three, four. And the fifth block, add a pillar. One, two, three, four. Pillar. One, two, three, four. Pillar. And then one, two, three, four. Pillar and one two three four five center block pillar and there we go we've got pillars on the, on the back end like so so every fifth block add a pillar and it shouldn't look too bad so I should I'll do the same on the other side it won't take too long so uh, what was it one two three four five and the pillar was there wasn't it and then one two three four five pillar and then one two three four five pillar 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 there we go I think that's all in the right place I'm not going to bother cutting and pasting the other side but I think that is the uh, the right positions and it don't look too bad now for the white stripe because you can see on the prototype over there we've got a white stripe going around just below the superstructure you're going to start that on the stern of the ship so the back end of the ship here we're going to start the white line and the white line is one block below the top of the black on the stern that is so if you can see on the rest of the ship it's a little bit lower but if you start on the back end here where the black section is at its lowest the white line begins one block below the top and then every uh, we'll just build the white line around the edge so we'll just replace every black block in that section with white I'll do this freehand for a bit and then I'll use weld edit. So you can see the white line is beginning to appear. And just build it freehand as much as you can, all the way around the edge. It's quite easy this one because you've got a deck behind it so you don't have to uh, sort of get, in, uh, get into a funny position to try and build something. And I don't look too bad. I just build. I just build the first few sections, and then I'll uh, weld edit the rest of it to the to the front. And I don't look too bad. So there we go, that's the first few sections. So like I said, I'm going to build it. Uh, I use weld edit to replace the rest of it. So I shall get my uh, fancy axe and 
just build the white ones there. What is it below the top? So it's one, two, three, four. It's so a fifth block down from the top, basically. So I should build this as far front, far forward as I can. So I build it up to this point. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and we'll replace uh, two, five, one, fifteen with quartz. There we go. There's the stripe being added there, and I do the same up to the tip of the bow. And we'll have one side of the uh, stripe done. So that's one, two, three, four, fifth block down. And there we go. There's the stripe added the full length. It don't look too bad, do it? And I do the same the other side now to get out of the way. So from the tip of the bow, I get this all the way around to the back. So I'll just start about here. One, two, three, four, five down. White stripe. And then I shall do the rest right to the stern. And then it shouldn't be too bad. In theory. get this right up to the tip there and then the white line should appear there we go the white line although it's missing in a section there. I think that's just uh, a glitch that should appear yep there we go that's appeared it's just a glitch there all right so that's the white line added and uh, it don't look too bad and uh, we'll leave it at that so I'm gonna do a, a quick think now and read my notes so bear with me all right so what we're going to do now is to add the portholes or windows along the white section you can see on the prototype we've got the windows where the crosshairs are going underneath the promenade so we're going to do the same thing there and if you look they're in groups you see a group of two and then four two four two four two four two four all the way along to the tip of the bow it's not rocket science you can sort of see how it is it's not accurate to the real ship I just thought I'd put them in this random spacing uh, for convenience really so we'll try and replicate that either in clear glass or black glass I'm going to use black glass because it looks better for this type of ship and we're going to go and add the portholes uh, on the third block up or the third block down on this white section so so as long as you got uh, as long as the uh, the porthole is viewable from the inside like so that is where the porthole begins so we'll add the first two like so and then it's a four block gap, one, two, three, four, and then we add four portholes, um, which have a two block gap between them, so I fucked that up already. So, so how did the first two go? The first two have actually got a, a, a two block gap as well, so uh, 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 ignore everything I've just said. So we've got the first window in, and then a two block gap, and then the second window. So, okay, so that's the first two. And then you leave a four block gap. One, two, three, four. And then we add the next four. So it's one, two, three, four. And they have a two block gap between each, like so. And then a four block gap. One, two, three, four. And then the next two windows. And then a four block gap. One, two, three, four. And then the next four windows. And you sort of get the idea. It goes two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, all the way along. And there's the first few ones. That's two, four, two, four. I'll do a few more. So another four block gap. One, two, three, four. And then we add uh, the twos. And then the fours. One, two, three, four. And then the four windows. One, two, three, and four. Four block gap. One, two, three, four. And then we add the twos. And then another four. So one, two, three, four gap. One, two, three, Four. There we are. That's the windows. That's the, that's the pattern you want to do, if you want. But I can say nothing accurate to the real thing. So what I'm going to do, I do a jump cut while I uh, fill in the rest. Cause it's got to go all the way to the tip of the bow. So um, I should do that now. So bear with me, and I shall return in a moment. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. I've added the uh, windows on both sides now. So you've got the windows going from the tip of the bow all the way along the side, and I've done the other side as well. So that's not a job need doing now. And they don't look too bad. The ship has definitely come alive. Well, not come alive, but uh, definitely looks more ship shape than it did before. And uh, yeah, they don't look too bad. So, the last job for today really is the lifeboats and handrails. So, we may as well crack on with those. So, we're going to go up to the top of the boat deck now. The boat deck is 
this section here above the promenade. Before we add the boats there, we're going to go up one deck above onto this overhanging platform. So the, the bridge wings are there, just above, and then below that you've got this little platform here. I'm going to add a small lifeboat to that. So roughly on the side, anyway, like here really, to build the boat. Uh, how long is it? The boat is nine long so build it two wide at the, at the base and build the base seven long so two three four five six seven I can say build it two wide like so and at each end build two two and then two two there and then across the sides like so across the side and then fill in the space with whatever and then we'll get our red carpet which is uh, that we get a red canvas basically and just cover the top just give it a bit more de well, not depth but a bit more standing outness and there we go there's our boat and then for the davits uh, should I think how to do this build these just one block back so you've got a gap build them five high one two three four five preferably in the right colour <laughs> So that's three, four, four, five, and then two, and then two, like so, and then same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, two up, and then two across. And there's that little boat done there. And you can do the same on the other side as well. It's just a small uh, extra boat, really, sort of like the collapsibles were on Titanic, you know, they're just either side of the funnel and were pretty useless, to be honest. But uh, there's those two boats there. Now for the main boats, so on this overhanging deck here, you're going to leave a three block gap, but go down to the deck below. So from this point, go down and then leave a three block gap. One, two, three. And on the fourth block, we build our davits. You build this three up like so. So if you look from the side, you've got the overhang there. And then a one, two, three gap to the pillar there. So that is the space you want to be. So there's the overhang, pillar, three block gap. So then you build a three pillar high like so, like that and then you want it to be two forward like so or two in so three up two in and then three one two three and then two one two like that and then on that top of that two you want to build up uh, three one two three and then two and then three out one two three and then one down like so so there's your gantry like so can't really see very well but it's three up two across three across two across Three up, two up, three across, one down. Like I say, it should look something like that. Like a question mark sort of thing. And then you're going to leave a 13 block gap. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And do the same again. 1, 2, 3 up. And then 2 in, 3 in, 2 in. And then 1, 2, 3 up. 1, 2 up. 1, 2, 3 across. One down like so. And that's the second gantry. So that's the pair which 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 will support one lifeboat. And then you're going to want ten pairs of these. But we'll, we'll sort the first one out um, first. And so what we're going to do is build our lifeboat. And I'm trying to see where these go. So the lifeboat will sit on that block there. Um, actually, it won't. So we'll go. How do, how do I attach these? Bear with me a second. So I don't actually attach to anything. They're sort of floating, really. So how we'll do this, we'll go over to the uh, davits again and we'll put some supports in this time. So we'll put a support down there in that section there. So where the, where the, the two joins to three, put a support and the same the other side. And that is, no, not quite there actually. Build it one block. How did I do this? Bear with me. I'm going to try to work out how I've done this. Hey, 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 hey. All right, so. Oh, I see the boats are actually... Uh, the boats are a weird design. I've just noticed that. I've, I have fucked these boats up. Actually, fly over to the other side. These boats are not right. Uh, so, actually, that I think that will be fine. So, I've just noticed the boats on this side have been uh, have a side cut off. So, ignore those ones. Anyway, we'll go back over to our, our gantry davits, and instead of putting a, a block on the third, we'll put a block on the centre there, so on the two, so where it goes three up and then two across, put a block just there. Same on the other side and that's where our boat will sit. And then on top of those white blocks we build our keel. 
like so, so the keel between the two like that and then at each end um, we build two out and then one up in black so we'll get our black block black concrete preferably so it's two forward and then one up in black same on the other end two forward and then one in black and then we build the base of the boat along the sides like so same on the other side along the sides like that and then for the black we build two out two out same on the other side one and then two out same at the back two out two out one and two out and then build the sides connect the sides up there we go and then just fill in the space uh, with black or any color you want really and it should look something like that and then for the top canvas we just fill it in red and I apologize for uh, wasting time trying to get this right but I just wanted to make sure nobody's perfect after all And that's the canvas done and then you can go on the bottom and remove any blocks which aren't needed namely that one and that one actually we didn't need that one so replace that one uh, it was just those ones I think that one and that one and then that one and that one and I think that's fine so that's the first boat done so like I say you need uh, one two three four five six seven seven on each side I did say ten but it's actually seven on each side so seven pairs of davits and seven boats on each side so that's the first boat and then you're going to leave a single block gap from the first davit leave a single block gap and then you just repeat the process again so three up and then two in three in and then two and then one two three up two up three across one down and then the 13 block gap so it's a 13 gap and on the 14th block we do the same again one two three up two across one two three one two and then one two three up one two up and then one two three one down and there we go there's the position for the second boat so like I say you just need to put these um, put uh, seven on each side so I shall use copy paste for this I'm going to copy and paste them in so just to save time so copy from there down to anywhere really down to there and actually use copy and then we just paste them in so I shall paste each one as I go along so that's boat number one already in and then boat number two goes here so paste there so there's boat number two And I think I may have made a slight boo-boo somewhere along the lines, but if you can guess what it is, uh, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> anyway, that's boat number two in place. And then boat number three. Which, oh shit, what's happened? There we go, boat number two, number three there, sorry. And then boat number four. Go here. And then boat number five. And then boat number six. And then boat number seven. If you want to add more boats, you can. I think we'll probably get up to boat uh, number eight. So anyway, that's boat seven. And that's seven boats added there. If you want to add an eighth boat, I think you can. So it won't look too bad. But that's that's seven boats added there. And it don't look too bad. And no, yeah, it looks alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly copy and paste these to the other side. So we we'll have, <laughs> I just noticed I've fucked up again. Because when I'm pasting and copying, I've actually cut the side of the boat off. So um, if you look, I've, uh, I've removed the side. So uh, I just have to replace that on each one. So what I'm going to do, I shall do a jump cut now while I replace the damage. And then <laughs> copy them to the other side. And then we'll uh, move on to the next job. So um, back in a moment. Right, back again. I've managed to fix the damage and I've now copied everything to the other side as well. So we've got 14 lifeboats on the ship now. So seven down one side, seven down the other. And it don't look too bad. So I think that was the kind of the last job really for the uh, 
building. So the last job I want to do now really is just to add the handrail. So I'll quickly look at the lifeboats make sure they're all lined up and in the right place. And they don't look too bad. So yeah, I think what we need to do now is just add the handrails. So and the pendant as well. We'll add the pendant afterwards, but we'll start on the top of the wheelhouse and add the uh, handrails. So I shall go along there and carry on. So, and as before, if you're building this as part of a downloadable project or a video on YouTube or whatever, don't forget to leave credit for the design, that's all I ask, and the usual bullshit surrounding that, and my <laughs> usual rant. But, uh, yeah, it shouldn't, if we uh, finish this off, it shouldn't be too bad. And it gives us something, or well, gives me something to uh, be proud of heading into 2019, because of course this will be the last build of 2018. Uh, we'll start again in 2019 with the Oceanic, which I've already got built, but uh, not shown yet. I've, got, I've shown a few pictures of it, or a picture of it, but uh, I shall do a preview video of that before the end of the year, which will be nice for everyone, I think. And then we'll have the other ship as well afterwards, which will be, I can't remember the pronunciation, is it the Campania or something like that? It's a ship very similar uh, to uh, the Oceanic, it's the, uh, so I think it's the Cunard equivalent. Um, so um, it's very similar in appearance anyway, still too funneled and fairly short to, in design but uh, roughly the same era, era as well so that's uh, something for the future as well so get the Oceanic out of the way and then said other ship out of the way as well and that would be for 2019, the beginning and then we'll get back to basics of building ships people want to see so maybe the Donna Paz um, Queen Elizabeth there's a few others as well, maybe the Great Britain, I'm not sh not really sure what to do because I mean there are so many that people want to see. Um, anyway that's the uh, handrails added around the uh, ship's uh, wheel, uh, ship's top deck and we just go down to the next deck and add the uh, handrails around this overhang here, so down both sides of course. Handrails always fun to build, which is very not true really. I think what I'll do, I shall try and use weld edit for some of them because it's just straight edges basically. So handrails down most sections like so. Up to the stairs there and once again. And I usually go on for a rant but I can't really be bothered. Um, but uh, there is something going on that sort of uh, is a bit worrying for some people. It's mainly because the, the European have brought in uh, Article 13 or uh, sort of going to bring Article 13 which involves sort of restricting people allowing uh, using copyright music and things like that. It's not. I don't think it will affect me as such because I don't use anything copyright. You know, It's basically just Minecraft. Um, I think it's mainly the big channels which have got a bit greedy like Watch Mojo and um, What Culture and all the, the sort of the top 10 uh, video reviews or top tens of everything videos where they just sort of cut and paste scenes from movies and songs and things. I think that's the ones that, that's going to affect most. That's the theory anyway but uh, if it affects me then it w will be the death of the channel but I don't think it should affect me because I'm not one of the greedy cats so we'll have to wait and see. I don't think it's, it'll be put into effect until 2020 anyway so that's another year and a bit down the line but we'll, we'll wait and see. You know, just just get as much of this out of the way as I can. So that's that that deck there done. So we're down to the boat deck, or down to the next deck, sorry, with the uh, small lifeboat, and we'll add handrails, or sort of around the edges of that, up to the uh, sides, and then build the the handrails along the next bit. I think I use weld edit for this bit because it's just taking too long. So I shall weld edit along this side. So up to the uh, cranes. We won't go around the cranes. Just go up to this point. So we'll replace. Uh, zero with 101 and there we go and then add the handrails around the horseshoe at the back like so and then around the other side do the world world edit e thing again. Do, 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 do. Up to that point, I think, or is it that point? There we go. That's that side, and then handrails 
and the sides there like so and there we go that's that deck done there and then the same on the boat deck handrails again once again using well it just takes too long otherwise so handrails down to the back end here replace 100 uh, with 101 101 being the code name or the code for uh, the iron bars and we'll add the handrails around the back there but uh, yeah, this is not a been a bad build as of 2018 going into 2019 it's been a, it's been a joy to build I mean 29 2018 has sort of been the year of new beginnings if you like sort of re replacing all the old tat that I built previously with something which is a bit a bit better I mean I've sculpted the hulls on most of my ships and redone pretty much everything really I mean Titanic has been redone and given quite highly praise or high praise and I'm quite appreciative of that and uh, yeah, I'm quite happy that it's gone. I mean, the Majestic has been sort of the forgotten ship. Um, I don't think anybody hardly watched that. But we've got the Queen Mary, the Mauritania, Lusitania, Britannic, Olympic, Empress of Ireland, and all ships like that. And things haven't been too bad. We've got a bit of a glitch down there, but there we go. All right, so that's that deck done there. The boat deck done with the handrails. So we've just got two more decks to do down the bottom here. And I think we can call it a day. So, taking a bit of time to do. I mean, it is a bit late in the evening now. It's 10 to 6 in the evening. It's always these last sections which are really annoying because you've got all the intricate parts to put in. But hey, hey, there we go. Basically around the docking bridge, isn't that so? There we go. There's that deck done there, and then the last deck down below. Might have to re replace some of the white blocks or wood blocks with white blocks here because of the um, connection areas errors uh, for the handrails. The handrails will sit on the white blocks. And lastly, around the back of the ship. Not looking too bad as we go, so get it all out of the way and and yeah replace the uh, wood blocks there with white ones gives the uh, handrail something to connect to and then we can just finish and there we go there's the handrails all added and you don't look too bad marvelous and one more job to do I think we just add the pendant on the back the Italian flag so we'll go down to the centre point of the back end here and we'll get our wood fence and build that up three. One, uh, build it one and then up one, two, three like so. And then with our multicoloured wool we get uh, green, red and white. So what is it? Is it two blocks high or one block high? I put, uh, I put it two blocks high so Actually, make the, make the mast a bit higher, so there we go. Make it one block higher, and then we add the green, and then the white, and then the red. And there we go, there's the Italian flag added there. That's not too bad. So we'll get rid of the HUD, and we'll marvel at what we've achieved. So we've got the Andrea Doria now done. I guess, <laughs> apologize if this last video did seem a bit of a rush, but when you get to the end of these things, you just want to get it over and done with. But uh, I think what uh, has been achieved here is uh, quite good, in my opinion. And a much better build than the previous one from 2014, I think it was. And uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. So uh, that is the uh, Andrea Doria done there. So a quick peek over to there. You can see just that ship there. That's the uh, 
that's not actually the uh, the uh, oceanic that's sort of the uh, the copy of it which I have moved so I have moved the oceanic since then that's the unfinished one I don't know where the finished the finished ones over there actually so I apologize there for getting your hopes up that's the unfinished one um, so yeah the, the oceanic will be the next build but that won't be till January 2019 so uh, we'll leave it at that so um, yeah thanks for watching and all things like that uh, apologies for all the scrubs that I've done throughout this video and throughout 2018 um, it's been an interesting year not a great year but an interesting one and uh, I do appreciate everyone watching and uh, subscribing and things like that and uh, we shall go into 2019 with, our head, with my head held high and uh, a bit more enthusiasm so uh, we'll see anyway that's it for the Andrea Doria and for me so we shall leave it at that so um, yeah this is Rich signing off logging off and disappearing and I shall return with another video soon so uh, bye for now